Hello folks, we are here to go over eye cackles. What is eye cackles? Eye cackles is a command line utility used in Windows and their server programs to modify NTFS permissions. Eye cackles is basically a newer version or improved version of cackles and X cackles. Eye cackles utility was available on Service Pack 2 of Vista and Server 2003. What is iCackles used for? iCackles is used in command line or scripts to set the permissions, read, write, execute, and so on, to drives, folders, and files on your system or network. This can also be used to display who and what permissions are set to an object. Also, it can change the inheritance of objects and child objects in your file structure. iCackles can, con can control group permissions of an object and edit, save, and restore the ACL file of an object. An ACL file stands for Access Control List. This is mainly a list of users or groups and what actions they have permission to do to this object that the AC file is connected to. So here I have included a list of permission switches. Um, you know, the basics, delete, full access, modify, you know, these ones after a comma separated list in parentheses of specific rights. This one you can these ones you can really break it down and really fine tune your permissions. Um, separated by a, print, a uh, comma as listed there. On my next slide, I got some inheritance switches right here. And these inheritance switches can be combined. Um, Here's some descriptions of what these things mean. Here's a little nice little uh, diagram of possibility combinations of these switches up here. And with these combinations, you'll be doing this stuff. Um, so I mentioned scripts, and you can include these commands in PowerShell or BAT files or pretty much any way you're going to script something. Um, script's just going to run the program. So here's an example of one that will create or change a folder's permissions to a write-only folder and you cannot delete anything that's in it or will or added to it. Um, so here's some of the, the commands I just showed you, you know, and the de delete, um, dc delete child. Um, here's your inheritance, um, which is pretty much what I just went over. Um, you can add that to any script doing something else. This could be just part of the script. So you can have one script to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, here's another example of a script that I found. And this one is the uh, same folder on C I used to display an example of this. And we're going to use the grant switch. We're going to add full control to administrators. And this script's going to add full control to the creator only. And any folders that are in it. And this next one right here will grant the group users write, read, execute, and modify. And I've highlighted it in yellow to further explain. And this one is going to remove all the inheritance, which that's what this R is doing. Um, 
this will eliminate any con future conflicts that you may have with permissions and the inheritance. And that is the end of that PowerPoint. So let's open up command prompt here so I can run through some of the basics with you. And first, let's go over the switch question mark, and that will bring up some of the switches and functions that I that I was just describing. Um, here's your permissions and your inheritance. That's pretty much what I'm going to go over here in this video. But up here is attaching permissions to certain SIDs, um, the ACL, ACL file, switches, um, a couple examples they include down here just to give you an idea how to use the program. So let's clear the screen and let's check the permissions on the C drive. Alright, so first thing we do is I cackles C colon and this will bring up any groups or that are attached to groups or people attached to that have permissions to this drive. And home users have read and execute. Myself I have full control and these first ones are inheritance again. Administrators um, full control. So now let's check a file. And to do the rest of this, I included a text document to help me along with the typing. And I've created two folders on the desktop, test one and test two, for my two demonstrations. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste. And that is the permissions of this folder control around all the users because everyone on this computer is um, an administrator and the only one on the computer is me. <laughs> so let's grant users access to test one. And to do this we're going to use the slash grant switch and there we go, we're going to grant the users group full control. We hit that. Everything looks good. One file processed. Zero files failed. So let's hit the up button to go back to checking this. And now the built-in users group F is there where it wasn't before. So now we've just added the group. Now you could have changed the users from full control to just read and modify or whatever you wanted. But for this demonstration, I just did full control just so you can see it added. So now let's remove the group. And to do that, it's pretty much the same command I did before. And well, we'll just type it again. Oh, we'll just copy it, make it easy. My typing is kind of slow especially when being recorded. And we'll delete that. And add that. And we're going to remove it. And this, we're just going to change the switch to slash remove users. And we'll go back and test it. And now users is gone. So, now you have seen how to add and remove groups and their permissions depending on what permissions and what groups you want to add, just change that. Um, so the next thing I want to do is on the folder I created test2, I'm going to create as a write only, like the script that you saw in my PowerPoint in the beginning of this video, a write only folder. Um, so what we're going to do is copy this one here. And this first one is going to deny the inheritance right off the bat and the the delete and I could have included the, the DC on the end of this to do it both in one line but I just wanted to 
for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do one at a time. And process file, test two, process file one file, fail the process. So everything went well. Now we're going to use this command here, pretty much the same same thing, except for rather than delete, we do the delete child aspects of it. And we'll paste that right there and hit enter, and that one worked. Now, let's go check the folder that I did this to. And test two, I have a couple things in there, a new document that I created in this. Can we delete any of these? No, can't delete those files. Got to delete the folder. No, you cannot delete the folder. Even admins can't delete it. So now you have a read, no, write only folder, not read and write. Obviously, you can read them. but you cannot delete or move any of the stuff out of these folders. So what we will do now is reverse the process and here's the delete child. We're just going to change the deny. This is one way of doing this. Change the deny to grant. everyone that process now we're going to do the de which is the delete folder one and we're going to change that to deny to um, grant everyone blah 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 there you go and if you wanted to the everyone folder is a shared group so once you go to try to delete it it'll say that it's shared do you really want to delete it blah 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 what you can do is you can remove everyone from the folder entirely just by changing the oh man nice changing the grant everyone to remove everyone group from this folder. Fail process and files. So now let's just go look at the thing and it should be right back to where we were in the beginning. And we are. So I'll minimize this. Go to test two, some sample, blah, 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 yes, delete, delete, looks good, and that concludes my video of NTFS permissions with eye cackles. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed my video.